I'm starting to realize real quickly we got a lot of problems. And the world outside is worse than I could have imagined. We gotta find these parts, get the elevator working, so our friends and family down there don't starve to death. It's like a, a timer is ticking now. And uh, I feel the weight on my shoulders. And every night when I go to sleep now, I dream about the worst outcome that could possibly happen. I got about a month to find these parts on Eli's list. Or a lot of us is going to be without family. Family we cared for for the last 10 years in safety. Didn't see this coming. I don't think any of us did. Joel, uh, you and Blake plan on I do plan on staying here until we can get people up, right? Yeah, I'm hoping so. It's our home. We really want to go out there. All right. Oh, folks, around here still. Over here. Hey, brother. Come on in. What floor are you from? Come on in. Like 14. Something 14. Like that. We're uh, having an issue out here right now. My name's Joel. We're trying to figure out why the elevator is only going back down when people call for it. Some of the floors are on lockdown right now, and a lot of our families are stuck inside the um, different floors. How's it going for you on your floor? What's it like? Ours, I'm aware. Everybody was fucking gone, man. I was slept that okay, fucking alarm. Got a little too celebratory early. And everybody got on there. You must have been on the floor, everybody left in a hurry then, because the first wave of people who got out of here, they took all the supplies. A lot of us it's, still have families. Oh, sorry, man, I didn't even cut over. I was just, I was one of the metal workers. I went around doing a lot of that. I needed some repairs. And I got transferred to the floor just recently. I just had a night there. And a little bit of a drink problem, so I think he's a little bit fucking fuzzy. What's your name again? It's Fred. Or oh, Red, here's Red a Jones. Red, the problem is right now, some of the floors that we're from are on lockdown and not opening up and people are stuck inside. And uh maybe they have about a month's supply of food and water left. So Eli here's from maintenance. And maybe you can help us out as well. Uh one of the transformers blown for the elevator and the doors down there. And we got a list of supplies that we need to go and find to try and fix the elevator to get people out of there. Maybe you can help us out. Maybe you have an eye for things. All right. And uh, I had to say it out there, Red. Sick people are still out there. I don't know how they made it this long, 10 years, but they're still out there. And they're sick and they're they're trying to bite us. They're trying to get at us. So you gotta be careful if you go out there with us. Yeah, I ain't even stepped a foot out yet. That sounds like a gruesome fucking sight. It smells bad. And they're everywhere. And some of them even run at you still. So what I'm thinking is, uh, we'll try to find me one more, two more people. And we'll go out there as a group. Keep an eye on each other. Find a warehouse. Tell you what we need. I've got a list right here from uh, Eli. Where is it? So what we need is electronics, wire, copper, propane canister, propane torch, light bulbs, scrap metal pipes, uh, welding rods, digital phase converter for the elevator, and a transition, a transformer for the elevator as well. That's what we're looking for. All right, I can keep all that shit in mind. Good. We got some of the scrap already in the warehouse, but um, I'm going to be right back, Red. I'm going to look around for folks and see if anyone else wants to come along. Eli, we got Red here. He's uh, going to help us out. You wouldn't have to have an extra cigarette, would you? Sorry, I, it's Fred, by the way. Fred, sorry. I'm a little hungover still. And no worries. We got to get you some water then. We 
we do have some rain barrels outside, so we just need it to rain, and then we can boil it to get clean water. Well, that's well, good then. Hey, um, sounds like you fellas are already on top of a lot of things. I'd say it's uh, thanks to Eli here. He's maintenance, and he's trying to get this place back together. Fred, you said you were a metalworking team downstairs, were you? Yes, sir. I was part of a fabrication crew. Well, Talk to you Eli mean? here, then he can probably get us sorted, since you guys have expertise yes, in that sir. stuff. Like I said, mainly we're going to need welding masks, welding rods, torches, etc. Oh, yeah. I'll find the best ones out there, man. Shit. And then they got uh, 60 elevens out there still. First, first job is going to be this. When that first crew broke through here, they busted down this gate. We're going to need to take down the rest of these gates, but we're going to have to fix the door that was here. Understood. Maybe make a little like, book right now. Shit. Yeah. yeah, they just ripped this motherfucker right apart. Maybe we can f make a door that we can actually lock. That way we can control who comes in and out, like you said. We have to be careful. There's people going out there. They can get sick. They get bit or something or get Fuck blood yeah. on them. Uh, who is this guy? This is Freddy. Yeah, Fred. My name's nice Fred. Nice to meet you, Fred. Fred, yep. I was part of the fabrication crew. I'll transfer through floor to floor and help them just do my regular maintenance and repairs. Uh, yeah, I may have seen you once or twice. I ain't sure. Well, my name's uh, Blake. It's nice to meet you. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet your acquaintance as well, brother. Uh, let's get at it then. All right, we go out there. We stay close. We don't uh, do anything we shouldn't. If uh, there's a lot of the thick, uh, you know, the sick people out there, we... Uh, we try to go around them. We don't make no noise unless we absolutely have to. We find what we get. We come back. Under focus. Sounds, sounds good. I'm going to keep working here, see what I can get up and running. All right, we're back soon. Okay. Want to lead the way, Blake, since you uh, used to be security officer, police officer or something? I remember seeing them on the news when the first happened 10 years ago, and I, I kind of forgot about that. A little bit. Yeah, well, when you're in the comfort of uh, four solid walls, surrounded by even more solid walls, upon a floor of a floor of goddamn concrete, you're going to be safe. Now the doors are open, I don't feel too safe. I just want to get this place fixed up, get back inside, and live my life. I don't want to be out here for as long as... I don't even want to be out here right now. My wife and kids are probably worried sick right now. They're stuck. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Floor 51. Doors are locked. I got through before the uh, emergency shutdown. Something about that transformer when the doors were opening up busted things. Because now we got people stuck down there. <coughs> I feel like I need to get myself a drink. It's no one that right there. Oh god, it smells horrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now that's some rotten fucking shit. There's another one too. There's a bunch of them. Oh, there's a goddamn. Yeah. I think they're run over by that car that came through. <laughs> god shit. God. Jeez. I ain't gonna get used to that smell anytime soon. <clears throat> Hell no. I wish it would rain right Up ahead, now. up ahead. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm gonna need your help here. God oh, damn fuck, it. Man, Push Push them over. Back up. They ain't so clever. Oh, I'm gonna this bitch. <laughs> <Donnie>. <laughs> I just wanna you now. Get <laughs> the fuck out of here, man. The fuck out of here. Oh, Frank, get off you. God damn. <laughs> Still moving, it's still moving. Oh fuck. That one's running. Yeah, running at you. Get the fuck. Get back off him. Yeah. Oh fuck. Damn. Doing all right. <coughs> uh, I'm fine. Uh, no. And he won't get hit. No. no. I'm all right. I just ain't feeling Let too good. <clears throat> Let me check you over, man. You jump me over. I can check you over. Yeah, let me check you. Come here. 
You join me, uh, check you, man. Um, how you good? Oh, you're good. You're good. You're good, man. You look, you look, you look good, man. You all right? One second. I'm gonna be Joe. sick. Let me check you. Let me check you over here, Joe. Make sure you have. It's okay, that. Joe. I let it out. I let too much you're out. Fine. Bro. Keep some of that for supper. <laughs> Joe, you're fine. You're fine, brother. God damn. Okay. You know, once I was fucking hanging out. How, how the fuck does that happen? I don't fucking know. <sighs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I have no fucking idea. There's, Come there's on. Shit. More, more, more. Here there's me. more. Damn it. Oh, let's, let's, let's go. Let's go. It's let's, slow. Let's <sighs> shit. Watch out, that one's getting back up again. Get out of here, you motherfucking piece of shit. God, they reek. Where are they coming from? Right, let's go. There's more. Where? Where's more? I smell them. Oh, this is decaying. Nope, no, there sure shit is more. God, shit, damn. fellas, this is bad. There's another one behind us. They're everywhere. God damn it. <laughs> Let's just keep moving. Let's go. Recheck these vehicles. <laughs> you gotta yeah, check them. Get in this motherfucker. God damn it. Yeah, yeah, I got him. Travel bag here. Screwdrivers, dark. A little grinch. I don't think we need a fucking little grinch right now. Yeah. That was a male. That was a male. Why the hell does he have a bra in his pocket? Why are you going through the pockets and covering in this shit bile? <laughs> Nothing in the back of that one. They're everywhere. If there's this many out here in the middle of nowhere. I'm a little worried about when we get into town what we're going to see. There's one following well, us, but it's slow. We're going to have to be real sneaky when we get into town, all right? Sneak in and out. I know this, though. I'm thirsty as hell after that. Agreed, brother. I could go for a beer and some fucking water for once. You find a house? Shit. Fred, I would love a goddamn beer right now, Fred. Yeah, yeah. Y'all need to smoke. I need to smoke. I, spare. I don't need I one yet. Smoke. I'll need one. That's for sure. Man, I'm fucking... Y'all are kidding. It's something different out here. How the fuck are they so mobile still? Ten fucking years, man. Mm hmm Maybe something else. Maybe the... Uh, maybe it mutated now or something, or, uh... I don't know how this shit works. Like, like fucking photosynthesizing their energy. Or, you know. Maybe they're eating animals. Human. Or each other. Or there's enough of us out here that they keep eating them. Cause not everybody got to go to a bunker. Each other. Shit. Right. Maybe it's let's just get to a town, find some stuff, and then get back. Roger that. We gotta have each other's backs here. I know we don't know each other that well. Nine times out of ten, someone would just run away and ditch somebody to get away themselves. I ain't gonna do that to anybody. I want your backs. Here's the thing. We're all from the I same place. To me, right? I'm sticking with you guys. We got families back there. Friends. <laughs> How are you going to look like if you run brother. back by yourself? And we... fucking coward. And likewise. Imagine how you would feel though if you ran back by yourself. And then we come back like, hey, what the fuck was that about? <laughs> Everyone's going to be laughing at you down yeah, inside yeah. the bunker. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Nobody yeah. leaves each other behind. We stick together. Yep. We all from the same Yep. So, uh, Brad, what did you used to do before all this? I don't think I, I asked mean, you. Well, before the whole ordeal, I was actually coincidentally working as a pipe fitter in a big old old refinery. I heard that's good money from a friend. It is good money. Yes, sir. You make quite a big bug. A lot of regulations, stipulations go in it, but hey, man, you stay on top of your shit and do your job right. Yeah. Ain't no chip off your shoulder, you know what I mean? 
I used to work on a lumber yard, marking trees for processing. Hell yeah. Good old tradesman, I see. Not bad work. It was good money, too. Got a Class A saw license. I think that matters anymore. I wonder how many people are surviving out here on their own. Like, who didn't make it into a bunker? Blake brought that up earlier between me and him. Yeah, I think that's the scariest part of all this. Right, Fred? You know, if there's people Fuck. still out here that didn't make the bunker, they're going to be uh, real tough sons of bitches, you know? Shit, you're damn right. Motherfuckers might be feral by now. Who knows what they've and done? Not only that, I mean, if there ain't much food out here, I mean, a couple of outsiders like ourselves they ain't seen before come from a bunker. Yeah, they're from Kentucky. They know how to fucking pick plants and hunt rabbit and shit. They ain't gonna be trying to eat each other. No American does that. Just so no true man does this. that. Here's Times are hard. That motherfucker's on that plane did that shit like quick. They like crashed in the Alps or whatever. And they just fucking made each other. About that. Each other. Yeah, sure. I heard about that, yeah. Gruesome. Were they out in the snow though? Freezing conditions, harder to find yeah, game. I mean, yeah, yeah, true. It was indeed uh, much more uh, restrictive conditions in uh, good old Kentucky. Look, look at all these cherry trees right here. All these yeah, pink cherry right. trees. There's food right here. Maybe mainly part of the year there is, but there's cherry trees. Look at that. They're everywhere. I see dandelions. I heard. I heard you can eat a dandelion head if you're hungry. That is true. I think it's just a large overgrown badge. There's a lot of dead here. Shit. Oh, I hear one through the trees. I see it right here. Bitch. Another. Well, we got one more eye. Right. Ooh, what do you mind? It's all over the place. The skull was made of fucking stone. I don't like this. It's too dense. You'd be coming out of bush Easy. anywhere. Fuck, that one's running at me. Oh my god. There's another one coming. Shit. Damn it. <laughs> She's got a watch. Take it. You know what time it is. I don't want to put that watch on. Been marinating on her skin. I'll put that watch you on. You need it. You need I'll it. I'll grab it. There's bleach. Back at the place, I'll clean it with that. Gotta remember, their blood and fluids get you sick, even through your skin, I bet. Skin does absorb moisture. You gotta be careful. We'll be real done at turning one of them. Just for printing on a goddamn gross ass watch. You know? I agree with that. I agree with that wholeheartedly. Do you hear that? Sounds like a boar. I heard a coyote. I heard a turkey as well. And I hear a fucking bear. A bear? Yeah, you not hear that bear? I'm gonna be frank and know some. No, I do not. My ears are a little fucked up, though. All ears in fabrication. Maybe we should keep following the, uh... The telephone wire. Idea. Might lead us to something. Gotta lead to a substation or a city. Shit! Shit! Shit. Shit, my thing broke. Stand back. God damn, it's you're raining right. now. I'm Are fine. Right? It, looked like, it looked like she grabbed you, Joel. She did. I mean, I mean, uh, Blake. How bad is it? Did she bite you? Nah, I'm fine. It's nothing. You All sure? Right, sure. I'm sure I'm fine. Yeah. All right, man. Well, we got shit. more. I think we should head yeah, back. We do. I think we should head back. 
don't think that's a bad idea either. I got nothing to defend myself with now. Yeah, yeah, I agree. We're getting scared here, boys. Here, see, take I want to see a few more of it. Besides, they have water back in the place now because they got rain catchers, they said. Joe, take this metal yeah, pipe. Uh, Bob right here, really. All right, well, maybe we should head back because I could probably do it with myself. Having a little bit of a lay down or something. Sleep. Okay. Let's head back. Did they scratch you? In the car. No, I'm fine. We'll have someone take a look at it when we get back to the bunker. Yeah, sure. Yeah, maybe a more professional medical person. Surely we got Dr. Uh, Brownie's part somewhere uh, in the bunker. I guess it's a good idea we head back because we're going to get soaked out of here and then we're going to get hypothermia. Yeah, it's probably the last thing we fucking need to tack on. Goddamn hypotherma. The peril and doom of dehydration. No right. Yeah, ain't me. What's that noise? I like going from the woods over here. Hey, hey, you there? What the fuck? I don't see the man running. He just ran over this way. I ran into the woods over there. Hello. Man. Hey. Hey, man, if you ain't come at us, we ain't gonna come at you. You ain't one of them infected, are you? He's just scared. Let's get back to the bunker. Let's get out of this rain. I'm fucking... I'm getting cheated, boys. What the hell is with that guy? I don't know. I, was, I seen him take off running. He's wearing a... Oh, uh, a hat just like yours, man. I don't know why he was sniffling. I wonder if we scared him. Maybe he thought we were one of them... Big people. Uh, that was, man. That's valid as hell. For all we know, he could be one of them. Then cleaned up your lie. Yeah, might as well use the rain for something. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. Lake, wait. Wait. Let me take a look at that real quick for you. Just for a minute. Make sure it's all right. All right? All right, what are you talking about? This Take a look. I just want to make sure you're okay. Yeah, go ahead. Just precautionary. Make sure it ain't too deep or nothing, man. Make sure you ain't going to get... Go on. Go on, then. Check. I'll clean, I'll clean it out for you. Good, though. Hey, who is this? Please don't hurt me. Oh. Hey, there's a guy soon. Hey, man. Put the axe down, Ooh. Blake. Hey. Hey, Chill. Please don't hurt me. He, he's from Where here. He's been going inside. Been it's cold. Around. Yes, hey, sure. what's your name? My name's Andy. All right, Andy. Well, uh, I saw you come up out. Let of me the take a look at that. Come on. Or I called after you. Gotta change it. I guess you didn't hear me. Um, the backpacks that were on those tables by the elevator. If you need one, you can grab one. And then follow okay, me. Thank you. Got a nasty scratch there. The tree gets you. Yeah, I think so. Get that patched up. Take a look at the other one. Make Kinda sure it's good. Scared. My parents, they were at the mall. It's fine. See so if we got something for you to clean that up with. That ain't look good. It, you think it was the tree that got you when you went through that bush? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Alright. I hope so. You get some rest. To be honest, I was a little worried you were bit. That would have been the worst thing for me to have to experience. Just meeting you, Blake. Hello, guys. What's your name? Andy. Where are you at? My name's Andy. I'm Joel. Here you go. I just, you're going to need it. Trust me. Eli, we don't have any luck finding I'm things only, out there. There's a lot of I'm infected 14, and sick people. I don't think I, I don't want a weapon. It, 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 it don't matter if you're a kid or not, you're going to need one. Oh, he's just a kid. You shouldn't even be out there. You stay up here in the bunker levels until we fix the elevator. All right? Yeah. Uh, I kind of want to. 
You know, avenge my parents that died at the mall. You don't gotta be stupid and go out and do that. That's dumb thinking. There's a bunch of crazy infected that they're sick people. Lots of them. Much, much bigger than you are. Stick around here. Safe. I'm a good, I'm a good runner. I know that. I'm just, uh, seen a lot of, of movies with, uh, sick people like See, that. See, that's the kind of talk right there where an idiot gets himself killed out there. All right, Andrew? Forget everything you've seen in fucking movies. This is real life. You don't need to be running around out there like an idiot. You're going to get bit, then you're going to turn on one of them. You run around out there thinking it's a movie. Stick around here, it's safe. All right? We're going to fix the elevator. All right. We're going to be able to get back down to our families once we fix the lockdown. Then we'll be safe inside the bunker again. We ain't got to worry about what's out there for a bit longer. Maybe two more, five more years of infected people, maybe they fall over and they're done for because maybe the weather gets them or something. All right. All right. I want to keep an eye on Blake. If you need anything, ask me or Elijah. All right. But I'm going to have to find you some better medicine. Because if that infection gets worse, you can get a fever. I don't know. Everybody has to go inside. He wants to, uh, Eli wants to speak to everybody. Where at? Uh, where he's growing all the crops and stuff. I'll be right over there then. Yeah, I'll come with you. I checked his bandages. He's just scratched by the tree, looks like. He got a laceration as well. I think he backed into it when the infected scared him. That's what I figured. I seen it. He came over there and that infected person pushed him up against that tree. Got him right there in that neck. I just want to make sure he wasn't bit. No. I understand. So Eli, you needed us for something? I uh, just got relatively good news. I mean, it should be working, should be holding at least. Works a little shoddy, but uh, the plumber guy, he got this hooked up to a barrel on the roof. So at least we have this one sink for now. That's good. What's the That's plumber guy's name anyways? Great. Uh, Johnny, uh, but he he headed to bed. Um, All right. He's he was working hard, you know. Uh, he also, while he was up there, he checked all the generators, um, just made sure they were topped up on fuel. He doesn't really know how to work on them, but he can at least fill them up. That's the one thing we're gonna have to start finding is maybe getting to gas stations and siphoning cars or something that you see along the road if they have gas. If we're lucky, we'll find a car, and uh, yeah. we can finish this shopping list you got me, and uh, things be better. Yeah, from uh, there was a guy that uh, came down here when they came to pick up that girl, and he said that there was a lot of trees in the roads. A lot of wrecked cars as well. A lot of infected as well. We went left this yeah. time down the main road, and we dealt with a lot of them. All in the fucking tree, man. It's dangerous out there. And Andrew, from what we've seen out there, there's no place for a 14 year old boy. So. No, sure. Get those thoughts of uh, being a movie hero or action hero out of your head. And sure as hell, you two are going to try to avenge your parents. I'm sorry to hear that, that they didn't make it. But you should get yourself fucking killed out there. Stick around here, it's safe. Give Eli a hand. Help him out. There's a... In the room with the couches and stuff, there's a bookshelf. Um, there's a bunch of books in there. So if there's anything you think you might want to learn or you know read about, maybe if you want to help farm, it's up to you. But we just need people who are knowledgeable about things and people who remember the world as it was before can probably go out and handle stuff yeah i'll keep that in mind then i'm gonna get some rest after that journey and uh i'll be up and up in about tomorrow all right well we look forward to it um 
like I said, Andy, if there's anything uh, you need, just let me know. I'll be around here. I'm just tending to the crops and whatnot. Well, Freddy, I think you and I are going to be the running team with Blake. When Blake's feeling better, we'll get things done here. That sounds there's like a, a fucking plan, brother. There's another uh, girl around here who's actually part of the uh, like the team that was here. Security? Her name's Sophia. Uh, well, not security, more just like They're in charge. admin, I guess. Or, All right. like, yeah, that type of... Her name's Sophia. Um, she'll be around. She's just sleeping right now. All right. Well, guys, wake me if you need me. I'm going to begin some shout-out. All right. Yeah,